Saying goodbye to a building many of you have spent a lot of time in. Holy Cross College is entering a lease with the University of Notre Dame to use this, the old St. Joe High School property. The main building will be demolished, but the college will use the fine arts building for new labs and classrooms in the arts and sciences. Basically, the high school building is not really usable. It's, uh, it's old and it's uh, deteriorated over the years. That was, of course, Holy Cross President Brother John Page. He says demolition will begin soon. And Fox 28 is your official Indiana Bicentennial Station. So each Tuesday, we celebrate part of the state's 200-year history. Tonight, we figured, what better story to spotlight than the history of the old St. Joe High? Our bicentennial reporter, Molly Jurisek, just so happens to be a graduate. Molly, this was a sent sentimental assignment, huh? Yeah, Tom, before the building is gone, we're looking back at six decades worth of memories from inside a place where many of us grew up. If you're a St. Joe grad, I bet you're probably doing what my friends and I did today. Wait, look at this. <laughs> the news that the main building is coming down is bringing up a lot of memories. This video is from the Fox 28 archives from 2012, when the last class graduated from the old campus. And we will proudly raise them to the sky as we cheer for St. Joseph's High. Hey! <laughs> My friends and I graduated a year before. I do think it's sad, though, because that was our home for four years. Students at the new St. Joe are lucky because the original was built in 1953. There was no air conditioning here, making the gym a little stuffy. It was really hot and it was kind of small, but it felt good, you know, when it was packed. The heat never brought these cheerleaders down. This is why I love the pep rallies. The best part was junior year when we beat the seniors. <laughs> That's true. By the time I arrived, classes were co-ed, but the building was divided into halls by gender until the late 1960s. My mom remembers those days. The school has a strong tradition when it comes to athletics. Hockey was the best. I loved hockey was going the to the ice box. While I was there, the Indians made it to state all four years in hockey. We wear sweatshirts every year. Most Indian pride. That's what Molly. it was. Yep. Of course, we learned a lot, too. I really liked Mr. Chandler. I think the teacher that left the biggest impact on me was probably Mr. Rios. But the thing we'll miss the most, our senior hallway. That's actually what's going to be really sad, is that we signed our name on those walls. And now it's just, now it's just going to get torn down. down. The old St. Joe's serve housed students for 59 years before the building was sold to the University of Notre Dame. The new St. Joe High is now located on Notre Dame Avenue. Seems like everything.